I'm uh, Erik Moerman. I'm uh, within uh, the company Naverna for 22 years. I um, have been responsible for technical and uh, commercial roles and, and now I'm responsible for the business side uh, of the Plastic to Chemicals project that means uh, relations with stakeholders, uh, uh, different agreements uh, and so on. Before I start to tell about the, uh, the technology uh, in general, I would like to very briefly explain a little bit our company, uh, who we are. So uh, Innover is uh, active for more than 30 years uh, already in the field of waste management um, and where our main driver always has been uh, the creation of own treatment uh, assets. From let's say this asset driven approach uh, we always have a strong focus to look for uh, new uh, investments and uh, as we saw that is really a big societal need uh, for new recycling uh, technologies uh, in terms of uh, converting plastic waste to uh, final products, uh, we focus at uh, chemicals as a final product. Um, that's one of the reasons where we, in an early stage, we started with this uh, project. Uh, technology is basically um, based on thermochemical depolymerization, where we convert uh, post-consumer plastic waste uh, into high-grade uh, chemicals uh, like uh, styrene, uh, naphtha and waxes. Um, and more specific, uh, the technology allows us to uh, separate the additives, the impurities, which typically are in a waste stream, in a plastic waste stream, from the carbon backbone. Um, and so with this we can make sure that you do not have really a, a pollution further down the supply chain um, and that you have real recycling and uh, where we can also close the loop in this case. Uh, so it's not a linear recycling, it's really a circular uh, recycling with an infinite loop of uh, products or materials that uh, are turning around. The key strength of P2C actually relates uh, back to who we are uh, as Indaver. So we have this uh, broad experience in the treatment of uh, household and industrial waste. Um, and we are even on European level uh, within the top 10 uh, of, of uh, waste management companies. Um, but also on, on local level, on regional level, we have very specific experience like uh, the sorting plant uh, of uh, plastic uh, household waste that we uh, operate close to Antwerp and where now we have actually a project to uh, double and even triple uh, the capacity. So this allows us uh, to make a next step towards a next level, a bigger scale plant, a demonstration plant. What is also very important, that is from the start of the company, that we always had a very good relation with uh, the petrochemical industry. Um, so the lines are very tight, they are very short, and uh, that uh, makes for us actually uh, it's quite easy to find directly the contacts, uh, to have the, the good and the right uh, discussions on specifications, on conditions uh, of the offtake agreements of the products that we will make. P2C is a real step forward for plastics recycling um, because um, today there is, there is a big gap still between the targets that has been set by the European Commission uh, and the real uh, recycling figures. Uh, there's a, a gap of more than 30 percent. Um, so there is a need for chemical recycling and uh, more specifically the project that uh, we are working on. Um, it will, uh, our project will also allow to include recyclable content in the, uh, the packaging uh, that is today used for, for different uh, applications but also for food application. So that's also very important. Um, the greenhouse gas emissions uh, uh, is, is also uh, a very uh, important uh, part where we will deliver uh, a, a big avoidance of these emissions um, if you compare it to the, the current uh, treatment uh, routes for, for this type of uh, uh, plastics that we will recycle. And last but not least, um, the circularity. Um, this is a real circular project. Um, it's not linear recycling. Uh, we produce end products which are very high in quality and you can keep uh, them recycling in an infinite uh, loop. Uh, the next steps in our P2C uh, development uh, are basically uh, based on the fact that we were successful um, 
with uh, validating the, the specifications and the conditions of uh, the different products that uh, we are going to make. On the one hand, um, we have been testing uh, polyolefins uh, where we then convert them in naphtha and wax. On the other hand, uh, we have been testing polystyrene, uh, which we are converting in uh, styrene monomer. So based on these results, um, uh, we are preparing the next step, which is the construction of a uh, demonstration plant of 20 kilotons per hour uh, per year, sorry, in uh, in Antwerp, um, where, by the way, we have already the environmental permit for. Um, so after a couple of years of uh, running the demonstration plant, uh, we are planning on the next step, which is basically uh, upscaling it to a 65,000 tons per year plant uh, on the same site in Antwerp. Uh, in terms of collaborations and uh, partnerships, uh, we tend to keep things uh, low profile. Uh, that means uh, we are not putting an energy into um, discussing uh, open-end uh, intentions of letter of intents, no. Uh, we are specifically discussing with uh, uh, the stakeholders who can really um, help us with this project and uh, close uh, in a direct, concrete way agreements with them. Uh, in terms of technology, we also have been following from the start the principle that um, we would uh, choose ourselves the, the different technologies uh, that compile then the, the full uh, P2C or plastic to chemicals uh, plant because we were not convinced uh, by uh, one technology provided that they were the best for all the different parts uh, of, uh, of the plant. Uh, so that's why we decided not to go for uh, joint development agreements uh, and so on, um, but really to do it ourselves. So, in general, um, in terms of plastic to chemicals, um, we did a lot of work already um, with, with many people within Indaveg. Uh, we are working with more than eight FTEs on this project now already for, uh, for several years, uh, resulting um, to let's say the, the phase where we are today and that is uh, preparing the construction of our demonstration plant uh, which should be operational in uh, 2022 um, and um, also we are already very far but still uh, we remain uh, open for any type of collaboration as long uh, as it helps uh, our project and as it helps uh, the business case or even speed up um, even more the development towards uh, this final plant.